Good morning. My name is Maureen Chung, and I would like to share with you my daily devotional for January the 13th. It is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 18. The title is, Run, Baby, Run! The Bible says, When they, that means the Magi, had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard from Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. The Christ child, the Prince of Peace, was not living in peace from the time of his birth, nor was peace found around him during much of his life. Joseph and Mary probably stayed in Bethlehem for two years after Jesus' birth, until Herod the Great realized that he had been duped by the Magi who left without reporting to him about who and where the Messiah was. That was why he ordered the killing of all boys in the area who were two years old and under. But God would not allow that to happen to the Holy Family. Again, Joseph was warned in a dream to escape to Egypt until Herod's death. They left in a hurry in the middle of the night. God clothed in human flesh. Christ the Son has identified himself with his suffering people. The quotation in verse 15, Out of Egypt I called my son, is taken from Hosea chapter 11 verse 1, initially referring to the nation of Israel, leaving their country of enslavement, Egypt, around 1460 BC. The suffering Messiah is running to Egypt to escape an indiscriminate slaughter. Then he will leave Egypt for the promised land of Israel after the death of Herod the Great in 4 BC. Matthew, the Gospel writer, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, sees the reenactment of the history of the infant nation of Israel in the experience of God's Son. Similarly, in verse 18, a voice is heard from Ramah weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. This is quoted from Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15, originally referring to the massive exile of the Jews under their conqueror Babylon, is understood to be echoed in the slaughter of the boys around Bethlehem in Jesus' time. Jesus Christ, the true Israel, has identified with the nation God has chosen. He has also identified himself with our suffering. It follows that Herod's successor, Achilles, was as bad as his father. Hence, Joseph is directed in a dream to take his family to Nazareth of Galilee. The Prince of Peace 
has not lived a peaceful life. He came to change the social order, as Mary sang in her Magnificat. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. Any spiritual revival is often preceded by a social-political upheaval. When we pray for a spiritual revival in our own lives, we need to first be ready for an upheaval in our micro-world. Renovation starts with demolition before the makeover. The gain will come with pain. However, for the long-range scenario, having Christ the Prince of Peace is an internal thing and an external thing, eternal thing. The outcome will be good even though the temporal, external circumstances may not seem to be so. Jesus promised, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. From John chapter 14, verse 27. He knows what he is doing. He knows what has first to go. Then the fruit will come. I need to trust him and obey every warning and instruction. My destiny is his kingdom and his glory. Are you ready for the demolition and the makeover? Be brave, my friend. Let him do it. Let him make you anew. May God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.